Hey there, it's Simon here. How are you? Thanks so much for tuning into this video. Today we are going to learn how to play Love Your Way by Powderfinger. It's a great tune. See you in a second. Alright, first up what we need to do is tune the guitar. I know, what a concept. So, stick your tuner on. The low E is an E. Pretty much. The A string you need to tune up to B. The D string you need to tune up to E. The G string you need to tune up to G sharp. The B string you need to tune to B. And the E string you need to tune to E. So, E, B, E, G sharp, <laughs> G sharp, B, and E. So, what that means is that we've tuned to an E major chord. So when you strum here, it sounds like an E major. Now that is super cool, because it allows us to do some cool things. Now, uh, Powderfinger aren't the first band, you probably know this already, but Powderfinger are not the first band to come up with this E tuning. It's an old blues thing, you know, where you can kind of just basically play one finger and get the chord, okay? So other famous tunes in this E uh, tuning, um, can't always get what you want. thing. Uh, maybe Gimme Shelter. You know, loads of cool things. Anyway, this cool tune by Powderfinger goes like this. It starts off on an F sharp minor chord. Now, is it an F sharp minor chord strictly? Not really, because it's got an E and a B in it which means it's kind of F sharp minus seven and 11 maybe. I'm sure uh, Bernard wasn't thinking, oh crikey, I'm gonna play that F sharp minus seven and 11 chord. I'm sure he just noodled around with it, thought this sounded cool. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit the bass first, so the low string, the sixth string, and then strum through. So bass, strum, and then it just open. So one and two and three and four. And then we're going to hit the first finger across the fifth fret, which is an A. And we're going to go basically hammering on this D add nine chord. Okay, so. At first that might be a bit tricky to, to hammer on those guys. They need to go on the seventh fret of the fifth string and the sixth fret of the third string. And then you just hit it open again on the and after the four. So we basically get one and two and three and four and one and a two. Now, so that is the basis. Of what happens. Okay, so he basically plays that on acoustic guitar at the beginning, and then eventually the electric guitar comes in, and then he goes da 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 da. Now, um, I think probably some of the guitars are in regular tuning, some of the guitars are in this tuning, uh, but we're already in this tuning. I've got the guitar here, so let's do this part here. So we've got a few options. Option one, we can play a D5 like this. Your first finger goes on three, third finger goes on five, and your fourth finger goes on six. That's on the fifth, fourth, and third strings. Now, it comes in before the one, so you get and a one, and then you move to an A, and then you hit an E5, and then a B. So you get and a one, and a one, and a two, and a three, and 
and a four. Right, so that's one way of playing it. Now, the kind of trouble, I guess, with that way of playing it is that the first, the first and third chords, they're five chords, so they're not really major chords, so you feel like you're missing out a little bit if you're just playing this by yourself. So the way that uh, you can get around that, and I'm not entirely sure if this is exactly how it happens on the record, but what you can do, you can play a D in the E tuning like this. Okay, so three, two, one, four. So hit those strings only, the four strings in the middle, yeah, fifth to second strings. And then your first finger goes on five. And then you can hit open because it's an E. And then B. So you get that. Okay. And then back into the. That is how you play all the parts, all the rhythm guitar parts at least, in Love Your Way by Powderfinger. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson. I love putting it together for you. I will see you soon. Please do subscribe, click the bell. If you're able to support me at Patreon and the channels, you can do that at www.patreon.com forward slash Simon Morell. If you would like the chart that I wrote for this, sort of simple straight ahead sort of chart that I wrote with the chords at the bottom and stuff, just get in touch at www.simonmorell.com dot com forward slash free hyphen chart. I will see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye for now.